Proper crimping techniques. You're gonna make sure you have the right amount of filament that lines up with the right size crimp to begin with. You're also gonna need some sort of a chafing tube or chafing gear. I'm gonna take the crimp, put it on the monofilament, take my chafing gear, put that on second. I get my hook set. I go through the eye of the hook set. Now, once I put this monofilament back through the crimp, I'm gonna take my pliers, I'm gonna cut a little mushroom end on the end of it so that when I slide this back into the crimp, it doesn't pull all the way through and out of the crimp. And then I'm just going to pull down tight and so that my crimp and my chafing tube is all lined up perfectly. And then I'm going to take the proper crimping tool. You actually have a couple of different size tools. If you're crimping above 250 pound test, you want to use the big tool. Below 250 pound test, you can get away with the smaller tool. I'm going to open up my crimping tool and I'm going to put the crimp into the proper slot just like that. I always want to make sure that a little bit of the end of the crimp on each side is sticking out past the tool so I don't pinch the monofilament together. And once I get it into the proper area and lined up right, I'm simply going to close and pause. I'm going to open it up, slide the crimp down, close and pause, open it back up, and there I have the perfect crimp. Now, another quick tip, when you store your crimping tools, they can get rusty very quickly. Get an old oven mitt that's not being used in the kitchen anymore, get some lubricant, spray lube, and spray inside of that oven mitt very, very liberally. Then when you get done with your day of crimping, you take your crimping tools and you actually put them right in that oven mitt, just like that. And your crimping tools will never rust again.